everybody. Uh, thanks for uh, coming on. Uh, this message is uh, God's plan for government, Romans chapter 13. So we're at the final uh, five uh, sessions in our series from the book of Romans, and this is called Christian Practice, uh, Romans 12 to 16. Paul starts off Romans 12 and says, I urge you in view of God's mercy uh, to present your bodies a living sacrifice. So we're supposed to present him our bodies, our minds, and our time. And we do this all in response to God's mercy because he's been so good to us. We want to serve him. We want to serve other people. And then uh, he talks in the second half of Romans uh, 12 about loving other people. We're supposed to love people, uh, not take revenge, leave revenge to God. Then in chapter 13, he talks about our relationship to the government. Uh, he says in Romans 13, uh, verse 1, Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Uh, this was a surprise, I'm sure, to some Christians. Many Jews in the first century didn't believe in paying taxes to Rome. They thought they should only give to God, and some Christians shared their practice. So I want you to talk for a moment with uh, your partner or people in your group. Uh, has there been a time when you felt like you didn't want to submit to government authorities? Maybe they're national, uh, Washington, D.C., maybe it's state government, uh, maybe it's city, uh, or maybe it's school. Uh, don't like what's going on in the schools and didn't feel like you wanted to submit to them. Uh, I'm not trying to uh, get a, a political discussion going here so much, but can you think of a time when you didn't feel like you should uh, do what the government was telling you to do? Okay. All right, so... Uh, Paul says we're to submit. Why are we to submit? Well, two reasons I want to share with you. One is government authority is established by God. So Romans chapter 13, verse 1, I'll read it again. Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. That's the first time he says that. The authorities that exist have been established by God. That's the second time he says that. Consequently... Whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. So Paul is saying God has instituted government worldwide. National government, state, city. Um, and uh, why? Because he doesn't want there to be chaos. Everybody can't do whatever they want to do. Everybody can't make their own decisions what you know, they can do whatever they want. And what if nobody stopped for stop signs or red lights or went over the speed limit? I mean, we can't have that. That's chaos. So it's instituted by God. Second reason, government, <coughs> government authorities are servants of God. Romans 13, verse 4. Notice how many times he says servants. For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid. For rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of conscience. This is also why you pay taxes, for the authorities are God's servants. Isn't that amazing? He uses the same, same term for servants there that he would for Pastors or leaders in the church, uh, government authorities are God's servants. They're serving Him because He doesn't want there to be chaos in the world. There needs to be order. There needs to be, uh, you know, government that provides for justice for people and uh, takes care of people. All right, so that's all I have to say today. Not much today, but uh, hopefully you can enjoy your group now. Go through the journal if you're using that. Uh, and... Uh, and then pray with each other. Have a good study.